<laughs> All right, so I called this morning to our next destination and told them that we were close and if there was any uh, possibility that we could get in any earlier and he says sure your sites available come on in so we don't have to try to find something or somewhere to stop from 11 to 2 we are going on to our um, site at Buddy Bear it used to be Duval uh, in the Smokies and now it's Buddy Bear in the Smokies so we're going on to our site there and once we get there, we will share that with you too. You want to do a tater? All right. So y'all, we're just down the street from um, Campground, Buddy Bear, and we were looking something to eat. And uh, I hope you can hear me. We saw Bustin' Butts Barbecue. Bustin' Butts Barbecue. They cook everything right out here. So. We're going to try some. I don't know what we're going to get, but we're going to try some. This is outdoor eating at its finest. Okay, Lynn got hers. She's got a brisket baked potato and, and green, green smoked green beans. And the biscuit break, break. The biscuit baked potato. Brisket. brisket. <laughs> Not biscuit. Not biscuit. The brisket baked potato was cooked outside in their thing, the smoker thing. And then this is the brisket. Oh, you get an option to have a sandwich. And I got smoked mac and cheese and smoked taters, uh, smoked beans. I, mm -hmm. I am stuck on them taters, ain't I? Watch my taters. Watch the, yeah. So we, we gonna get to eating. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Are full. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. 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 Very full. We're full. So what we're gonna do now is go over here and look at these sculptures, these wood sculptures that these guys have done. Let's check it out.
So, tell us a little bit about your little hobby here. Well, <laughs> it's a hobby turned into a, uh, a career, actually. And so, my name's Bob with Fat Bob's Wood Co. here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And uh, we create different wood carvings and do uh, cabin furnishing and metal art, a little bit of everything here. And so, uh, this is our store here, a storefront. And we got a handful of different artists that have joined us over the years. And, uh, it's been just a, an amazing place that keeps growing and keeps blossoming. Get to meet awesome people like y'all. So, yeah, a little bit of everything here. So. Cool. Yeah. So, guys, if you get to this part of Sevierville, uh, I guess this is still Sevierville. It is, yep. On uh, Newport Highway. On Newport Highway, come out. You'll see a barbecue joint that's sitting on the side of the road and the carving establishment because yeah. it's not just a, a, a tent now it's in the, it's a store yeah 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 we started in a little pop-up tent about five years ago mm -hmm. we got a lot of things in the works but it's uh it's been a journey it's, cool it's been amazing cool well thank you so much all right thank you very much it's so nice to meet you guys nice to meet you too yeah. all right y'all we're gonna go on back to the campground i gotta check out something on my tire on the camper so let's go do that Okay, y'all, you know, this uh, RV life can have its ups and downs and stuff like that. And, you know, I try to keep an eye on everything that we have on the camper and try to see what uh, needs working on. And this morning I was looking at one of the tires on the back of the camper and it has some cupping. Uh, it's not flat like the others. So I'm gonna take a look at that, see what I can determine. Hopefully I don't have to take it off, but I may have to. Okay, there's definitely something going on right in there. And I think a belt has broken because the rest of the tire feels flat. And then all of a sudden I get that little bump out. So I'm gonna have to take the tire off and see if I can find somewhere to get it repaired. Okay guys, I don't know if you can, you'll be able to see this. I'm gonna try to get on the horizon of the tire. That means this up here. See how that looks flat? And it probably, I don't know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but right in there, the tire changes and it shouldn't. It's, it's like it's a bulge and the belt breaks, the, the belt will break. And uh, let me see if I can get a different angle. Right in here is where you see a little bump. So we're gonna get this changed out. And move on to the next thing. Okay, babe, what uh, happened with the tire? Well, what happened was uh, we got the tire fixed and the warranty that I have on the tire is only valid for 10 years or when the tire tread reaches 332nds of an inch. So if you have a warranty for a uh, discount tire or, or just check out any of your tire warranties, make sure you're within that because I was at 4 seconds of an inch uh, tread depth. I'm sorry, the tread depth on it. If it had been 3 seconds, the warranty would have been bad and I wouldn't have got a new tire. But I got a new tire, the belt was broken. We're back, going back to Pigeon Forge Severeville to put the tire back on. So we got another hour drive. And it only cost you? $38 for the new warranty. Ta-da. 
Happy days are here again. Happy days are here again. Okay, so the moral of this story is check your tires. See what they look like before you trip. Check them. See if there's any wear that looks unusual. Not only check your tire pressure, but check your tires just the way that they look, wear. Uh, I noticed that unusual look to the tire and it was a belt that was broken took it to the tire place over there and they took care of it I was still under warranty got that done I don't know just be aware of tires and your equipment when you're traveling so if you like the video then give us a like share subscribe all that kind of stuff and we'll see you on the next clip cool little campground they got three I think it's three or four cabins and then they got the bathhouse over here we visited some friends that were staying here last year so we knew about it and we wanted to come back because it is small when we came in they told us that Everything's on the honor system around here. So they got wood, you can get ice, do your laundry, and all of it's on the honor system. So you get what you need and you pay for it. Like a little pavilion, TV, tables. And then this was not here the last time we were here. It's like a community fire pit area and a pool. Nice. It is nice. And by the decor of the Maytag machines can you tell what this room is or this building is it is the laundry and they got a library in here see honor system washer 250 a load dryer 250 a load guys this is where we at now <laughs> we are at bush's bean visitor center bush bush i thought it was oh, bushes. It's a, yes, it it's is. bushes yes bushes bushes bean visitor center and we're gonna go in i don't know if we can record but we're gonna get as much as we can if we can so see if we can get some of that beautiful bean footage that's right come on let's go <laughs> Yeah, 
these are the states where they get their beans from. Washington, California, Idaho, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Missouri, Arkansas, Texas. I mean, all over the place. Did you know that there were so many different varieties of Bush's beans? Of course they do. And we have a second. I mean, a bunch of them. Second smell of pineapple. That's Wisconsin. Did you know that? We saw that on the cat, but they didn't know. It was Cafeteria, or uh, they didn't call it cafeteria. What they call it? Uh, cafe. Cafe. So I guess you just put the teria on it, and you got just put the teria on it, and you got cafe teria. So, what do you think about the Bush's Family Cafe first? It was um, it was pretty good. It was busy. Uh, we just had sandwiches, and as the waitress walked by with other foods, we did see some things that we wish we had ordered instead of our sandwich. Yeah. But the thing for us was their signature dessert is called. Wait a minute. <clears throat> it's called pinto bean pecan pie. Let's show them that. No, oh, that. this? Yes. This bean footage. Pinto bean pecan pie. And then... So we had to order a piece. And it, it's actually good. It's very good. You can't tell that it's made with pinto beans. Yeah, once you get past the thought that it's pinto beans, I actually like it better than pe than a the regular pecan, pecan pie. Because it's, it's not as gooey and right, sweet. Right, it's it, not it's as It's got gooey. a different texture to it, it but does. it is good. It does. So, put down in the comments if you've ever had pinto bean pie. Now, this one has pecans on it, but let us know if you've had it before and what you think. Because I got a recipe now. I might break bad and try to make one. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> I just might have to do it. So what did you think of the 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 museum? They have a museum. Uh, they have a store. All that stuff here. It's a whole attraction in itself, along with the little cafe. And, yeah, and, and in the store, we bought stuff that I hadn't seen. It may be in our grocery, and, and I'm just so fixated on getting what I get. Mm -hmm. But... We bought some of the magic chili. Mm -hmm. All you do is add hamburger with it. Who knew? We bought one of the original bean dip. I didn't even know that Bush made bean, bean dip. Bean dip, yeah. Uh, we bought <clears throat> a can of grilling beans, uh, bourbon and brown sugar. Doesn't that sound good? And... Black eyed peas with snaps. Now, I think I've tried these before, but I don't know. But anyhow, yeah. So, the good thing is that Wayne and I um, are the only two that live in our house. So, 
when the beans start working, it, it's okay. It's okay. We we can deal with that. But yeah. So I I enjoyed it. The the information is a family owned business and has been in the family since since the beginning. Eighteen hundred. Yeah. AJ yeah. Bush Company was. And the, everything is right here. I mean, it tells you how they process it, how they process the beans, and you know you think. <clears throat> When you go to the store and pick up your can of bush beans, you never really think about that. Yeah. But they tell you about the processing and how they do it. And, you know, I always thought that the beans were cooked when they put them in the can. They cook them in, in the, the can. In the can, like like pressurized. Yeah, they pressure cook them yeah. in the can. You know, and they say close to like when when our grandmas used to, used can, to can their, their beans mm -hmm. and it cooks them. So yeah, it's it is it was very interesting. I enjoyed it. We were here about seven years ago. Actually, it was uh, right 2016, after twenty sixteen. Right yeah. after I finished my uh, my cancer, my chemo, and all, we went on a twenty eight day trip, and we stopped here. They had the lady was telling us they updated the museum just last year. So it was interesting to come back and the, a lot of interactive, you know, touch, but what is it? Touch, touch screens screen. and all, yeah. A lot of touch screen interactive But something stuff. else was going on then when we came because there was hardly anybody here. The cafe was not open. Right. The, 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 um, the store was not here. None of that. And something was going on because they weren't even doing tours then. Right. Remember? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we enjoyed it. Yep. Cool. So if you're ever in this area, stop by, check out Bush's Beans. Uh, it's really a nice family atmosphere and uh, just a nice place to stop in, in Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, and eat some beans. And eat some beans. Oh, yeah, we even got to sample their new sugar-free beans. Sugar-free beans. And they were good. They were good. Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. Let's move on to the next clip. Guys, I don't know if I told you, but this campground is located right on this little creek or river. And so some of the sites, as you can see down there, back right up to the river. And then the rest of them just kind of go in a circle. So tomorrow is our last day here at uh, Buddy Bear, formerly known as Duval at the Smokies or Duval, or whichever way you like to say it. We've had a wonderful stay. The staff has been very accommodating and um, easy to get along with. Um, I would say the staff of two, because that's all I've seen is two guys that have been working. Um, they go about their, their job and just let other people enjoy. Everything's been quiet. Not a whole lot stirring, other than people coming and going. Big weekend here, from what I understand. They said it's the start of the camping season here when the, uh, what do they call it, rod, rod show, I think. It's the hot rod show. Starts right around Easter. So it's a lot of activity, a lot going on, but we have enjoyed our stay here. We've, where we are now, we're uh, near the eastern part of Sevierville. So it's not as noisy out here, not as much traffic, although there is a lot of traffic because we're right on 411. But the main part of what's going on is southern Sevierville down in near uh, towards Gatlinburg. So tomorrow we leave and we go to Margaritaville. We go to hang out with the rest of the YouTube crew that we uh, are going to meet up with along with some of their family. So, we'll see you on that video. Oh yeah. Hey, if you get value from what we're doing, please like, share, subscribe, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, man, it really helps us and it helps YouTube say that, hey, they like these people. You know, give them, give them uh, a little bit more airtime on your page. And also, don't forget, at the end of this video, there's gonna be more videos like this. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to check out the playlist and the next video that's coming right over here somewhere.
Thank you.